welcome you this morning. Proper in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are welcome to Good Morning Just Family Foundation. The place the Lord has raised to bring transformation to the life of men and women all over the world. Amen. I want to tell you, you that are joining us for the very first time, you are not in the wrong place. You are in a place, a, a place where your brother and your sister will love you, We think about you. We have been praying for you that in time like this, you will join us because there are people that are out there that are, that are, that are heavenly seekers. On that day, Jesus said, there are many that are not in this phone. I will go and bring them back to the food. Friend, you are welcome to Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation. It's Jesus that raised this program. I believe that as you follow us, I tell you, you will have a testimony in your life. You will confirm mm -hmm. that this place, it is not just any hard place. It is a place, there are many groups all over the world, but there are many groups that are being raised for selfish interest. There are many groups that are raised for different motives. But as, we, as you continue to follow us through the revelation knowledge of the Almighty, you will know that you are not in your own place. I pray God will give you your testimony so that you will go out there and begin to tell people, come and see the light, the light Allah. of God. God. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We move now because of a time, short time, please. The brother that will give us uh, his testimony, please, if you can uh, short it at least three minutes, four minutes, I will be very grateful so that we can go on with a message. Call our brother, Brother Prosper. Praise, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. A, just like uh, what uh, our pastor said, it's a long story, but I will, I will cut it short because of our time. I want to return all the glory, all the praise uh, to the name of the Lord for what he has done for me and my family. Mm -hmm. Because in the year uh, 2017, I was arrested in Italy here yeah, because of my evil things that I did. So I paid the penalty for it. I want to give God the glory because of uh, it was not uh, easy because many people, they went to prison, they died. Many people that came out from prison, they're no longer complete. Their behavior, some people went to prison, they become man. I want to return the glory to God because he kept me, his mercy kept me, I met my family. I was okay. My loved ones were okay. I did not lose anybody. I did not lose my loved ones. I spent uh, more than three years there. Mm. I came out successfully. I want mm. to help me to join the name of the Lord to praise Him forever you, Jesus. in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. 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 Brother, I want to tell you that God, Jesus Christ, love you so much. And uh, Jesus Christ care for you. Jesus Christ think about you for that testimony. I want to tell you, if not the one that saved you, you don't know where you could have been. Yes. The person that is talking to you now, I went there years ago. <laughs> that was the first of my rest in my life. But I tell you from there, I discovered the purpose why God created me. That is what is driving me today. You hear I said, I wish it on you by arresting me that time. It will cause salvation to the world. Satan could have not done it. But I want to tell you, 
God can use you more than me. If only you make a decision to see, I have decided, I realize I'm a prodigal son, but now I must return back to my father. When you return back to him, he change you, he draw you, and he make use of you. But you are the one that will determine whether you are going to be a vessel unto honor or a vessel unto dishonor. God cannot force to enter you. It's too big. He cannot manage you. It's only Satan can manage you because he's not the one that created you. But God is too big to manage the people he created. If you make yourself available, it doesn't matter of your age. It doesn't matter of your grammar. It doesn't matter of your whether you are short or you are tall. I tell you, it makes use of you. I pray this morning, you will realize that you need to return back to your father fully. If you do that, I assure you that sky is your limit. And at the end, you will meet heaven at the end. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that your testimony will remain permanent in your life. That uh, your testimony will keep you going, will keep you moving on this journey. That all the area, the enemy, those your wasted years, the Lord will, will bless you because he promised that he's going to what, restore back those wasted years. And as you follow him, I tell you, brother, I am the most happiest man in the whole world. I tell you, you should be grateful you are still alive. God loves you so much and he cares for you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. This morning, we are taking a message that says, If ye be ashamed of me and my word, if you be ashamed of me and my word. Let's go to the Bible to see what the Lord is telling us. In the book of Luke, chapter 9. Luke, chapter 9. <coughs> Let's um, take it from verse uh, 20, 22 or 27. Say, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elder and chief prince and scribe and be sent and be raised the third day. And he said to them, or and he said to them, or oh, if any man will come after me, let him deny his himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man? advantage if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away for whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my word of him shall be shall, shall the son of man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in his father and and of the holy angels but i tell you of a truth there be some standing here we shall not task of death till they see the kingdom of god yes god bless you do you see that there will be some here i tell you the truth that there will be some here standing with us we shall not test of death till mm -hmm. the son 
and till they see the kingdom of God. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want us to focus on that particular chapter, verse 26. It's about loving. If you be ashamed of me and my word, I tell you the truth. I will also be ashamed of you on that glorious day. Many people today, we are so ashamed to carry our Bible on the road. If I ask now, how many of you can carry Bible on the road? I remember a time ago, about uh, three years ago or four years ago, if I'm not mistaken, when I visited Germany, I was in Munich preaching on the road with my Bible. In, in my child mind, Jamie on the road, a black man was laughing, 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 laughing. I was about to, I was preach, I was about to preach to him when he started laughing. Then I asked him, sir, why are you laughing at me? Did you see me? I shit on my body. He said, you don't understand. Since I've been in Germany for many years, please let that be no noise. Since I've been in Germany for many years, you are the only black man here I have ever seen carry Bible on the road. I said, glory be to God that I travel all the way from Italy, coming to Germany to come and preach. Now you are a witness. A weakness that a black man came to preach to you. But are you ready to accept the message? Friend, are you ashamed to tell people that Jesus Christ is coming very soon? Mm. Are you ashamed? You may be here. You are ashamed to invite people here because your life is not representing Jesus. If any man be ashamed of me, I will also be ashamed. Maybe you are in public place. Sometimes you, you are in a place of a people that I don't believe the, that I don't believe the revelation of Jesus. You are ashamed to identify yourself. You are a Christian in that particular place. Jesus is telling you, my son, my daughter, all those things you are doing is a record. I'm going to do it to you on that day. But Jesus Christ is saying to, he said, to all believers, if you be ashamed of me in this particular time, he said, therefore, I also will be ashamed of you. You need to have the understanding of being ashamed of Christ. We go back to see some places we need to see so that we have a proper understanding of this message. Many people are here to say, yes, I'm not ashamed of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes you tell me you are so shy, set a little that in your heart. How can you tell me you are a Christian? You are a child of God, you are ashamed to tell people Jesus is Lord. Friend, you are shy, supremely you are ashamed to say Jesus is my savior. Set a little doubt into your heart to destroy your life. Shy is for the pit of hair. Shy is also a, is also equal of being ashamed of somebody. You are inside the bus, especially all of you that are in the place where you can go on the street and carry me the phone and begin to preach. Here in Italy, we don't have we don't have a possi possibility like that. You are in that particular place. You say you are a member of this place. You are not going out for evangelism. You are ashamed of Jesus. You may tell me, yes, you don't go to evangelism. You have your own way of doing it, my friend. All oh, those are what 
as a sign, as a, as a sign of what? A shy. You are shy that you cannot carry a Bible like this be on the street. Mm -hmm. Or carry a Bible like this go to the church. Friend, can you carry a Bible like this now begin to trek to the church? Because you are shy, you are shame. Jesus is saying to you, my son, my daughter, I also, if you do it to me, I do it to you. <laughs> do you understand that? Eh? Yes, sir. You, you point hand on me, I point hand on your eyes. You Okay, I'm going to show you things you need to know. Many of you, but Jesus is talking to us this morning. Let's see in the book of Matthew, chapter 10, Matthew 10, verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Yes. Do you, do you see that? Do you, do you see what Jesus Christ is telling us in that particular place? Mm -hmm. Yes. I tell you the truth. And the word of God is truth. Whosoever shall wherefore deny me in the presence of a people, he said, but I tell you, whosoever shall deny me before men, him or I also will deny before my Father, which is in heaven. Many of you, when you are in common telling lies, you know what you are doing? You are denying Jesus. You are in a common collecting error. You deny Jesus. You didn't really tell them the truth. You tell them your husband is not with you because you want to arrow your arrow to her. You know what you are saying? You are saying, Jesus, I deny you. I did you. I value this money more than you. When you are committing morality, you are saying, Jesus, <laughs> I deny you in this moment because of I need to do this immorality to enjoy myself. That is what you are saying. When you are cheating your wife, you are chatting with all those, uh, all those uh, Jezebel daughters, you are telling the Lord, Lord, I deny you to cheat my wife. If you are not cheating your wife, you are cheating God. When you are cheating your husband, the same thing, you are saying, Lord, I deny you right now, but you may say you are born again. Friend, I tell you the truth. I when you are telling lies, you are cheating. You are deceiving people. Do you know what you are doing? You are denying Jesus. Many of you here, you are so you are so crafty. You tell yourself you are very sharp, but you don't know Jesus is sharp under you. You tell yourself right now, I am a Christian. You don't pay your tithe. You know what you are doing? You are denying Jesus because of this small one I pastors have blind your eyes and now. Poverty, you are not bringing poverty to yourself. You are not bringing sorrow to yourself. You remember, there are instructions that follow it. Whenever you did not obey, you tell yourself that there are some passages you will obey in this Bible. There are some you will not obey. Do you know what you are doing? You are denying Jesus. Mm -hmm. And is tell the truth. Whenever a pastor that's supposed to preach the message of internal life, so the multitude begin to jeopardize with them dancing cocoa. You know what that pastor is doing? Is denying Christ, saying, Christ, I deny you. I want to be popular. Are you hearing me now? I hope you are. I hope you understand the message. You I hope you are you are getting that. I hope nobody is sleeping on this program. No, sir. No, sir. You no, need sir. to have the understanding that there are many things standing against many Christians today. You may say, I'm a born again. Yes, you have been in the law for 30. Before, some people will say, young man, before, before you was born, already there. Wonderful, you are there. But are you, they, don't you know you are, the blindness have taken over you? Blindness of not understanding the truth of the message. It is not a matter of how, you, how long you have been there. But it's a matter of, are you still standing? Are you still honest? 
are you still truthful? Man, if I write myself, oh, you are giving your phone, all of you, am I not going to see Crow Crow inside the phone? <laughs> Crow Crow inside the phone. <laughs> that the husband cannot enter a phone of the wife because you are denying Christ. A wife cannot enter into the phone of the husband because there are things that the husband, wife is doing that they don't want the husband to see. Friend, do you know what you are doing? You are denying Christ. There is a need for a true believer to stand still. Friend, what I cannot do in your front, I can't do it in your back. That is what makes me to be a Christian. What I cannot do, what I cannot say in your front, I can't say it to your back, in your back. If I do that, I am not a Christian. But many people today are saying they are on their way to heaven. Yes, wonderful. You are on your way to hell. Why? Because you are a joker. You are a rebellious child. Friend, because you are swallow error, you think that you are on your way to heaven. My brothers and sisters, you as a warrior, a man as a warrior, the day you decided to raise up your hand and to beat your wife, you know what you are doing? You are denying Christ. Or as a woman here, you refuse to submit to your husband. You know what you are doing? You are denying Christ. That word that says, husband, wife, submit to your husband. Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. You know what you are saying? You are saying, Jesus, this one, <laughs> it doesn't, this one is not working for me. This one is not it's for other people. This one is not for me. Friend, if all of us begin to live in by the truth of this world, I tell you, eh, marriage will be so peaceful. Home will be so peaceful. Mm -hmm. that the whole world, people will be, people will be one, people will love the world to serve Jesus. Why? Because today many people have swallowed poison of error that are out there. Friend, maybe you are here. You think that nobody is seeing you. Anytime you go to supermarket and begin to buy those sector property, those makeup, you know what you are saying? You, whenever you are in the mirror, you are doing like this. You are saying, Jesus, you didn't create me well at all. Why did you not make me to be red now? Jesus, I don't understand you. That is what you are saying, you have. You, have, you don't understand. Or anytime you carry your needle and choke here, you are saying, Lord Jesus, you made a mistake for creating my ear. What type of human being are you? friend, or you go to supermarket and begin to buy those things. You are importing all those things they call a uh, uh, woman hair, those things they call Brazilian hair. You know what you are saying? You are saying, Jesus, what? I don't understand the way you create, my, you create my hair. But why did you not create me like those other white people? You are saying, Jesus, you made a mistake. Remember, Jesus is the, is the greatest architect among other all architects that are in the world. Is the highest Friend, there are many things we are doing that we are denying Christ. Each time they call on you to come and stand for a weakness, and you know the truth, and you read there, because of that person is your friend, you fail to tell them this is the truth. You join your friend. You know what you are doing? You are saying, Lord, I dropped my Bible today. Friend, but don't let him be. You know why Jesus is bringing this message? <laughs> You know, one day, one day, one day, one day is for the thief. Am I right? Every, every day by day is for the thief. But one day is for the only day. But maybe on, Jesus is warning you so that tomorrow you will not continue for your endurance. You may go and try it tomorrow again. As you are trying it, you will hear the, the trumpet word, you have missed heaven. Maybe you are believing a holy life in that particular minute. Friend, how painful it will be. I saw something this morning that made me to be afraid. The whole world is into confusion. Nigeria into a great confusion is coming. I saw it. Confusion. People was running, killing. They was killing, massacring. They was cutting people, running. Friend, prepare to meet the Lord. 
in the time of hardship, you look around you, there is no food in your table. Are you not denying the Lord? Say, Lord, I need to go and give my body to that old cargo man so that I will get money. Friend, Bible says, suffer before pressure, but today we want to be pressure before suffer. Jesus is telling us. You see where we read here? If you deny me in the presence of people, I do what? I deny you. If you deny to what to bring souls to me, I will deny you on that. If you do it, no problem. You know, Jesus Christ gave everybody, he gave you opportunity to live as you like. He never carried cane to flog you, but you know what he used to do? He bring the word to you. It is all depends on you. Your, your obedience that will determine what Christ is going to do. I pray that Jesus Christ will help us in Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, Jesus see the wickedness that are in this society where we live, and as a word, as a daughters and sinful generation. All those who seek to accept this wicked world. This sinful adultery and this wicked generation we are today, this evil generation, rather than, the, rather than to follow Christ and his righteous standard, will be rejected by Christ at the time of his returning. In Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 7, verse 23. Matthew 7, 23. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye workers, of ye iniquity. that work iniquity. God bless you. This is how it's going to, that, that is what is going to happen on that day. I will, I will profess unto them, I never know you. Depart from me. Depart from me. Ye that walk in iniquity, but I pray that it will not be your portion. Amen. But it can be your portion if only after today you hear the message. You know, many of you, you are being a hearer every day by day, but do what you say, no, it's not your time. But I pray that Lord will kick out away that stubborn spirit, that spirit of disobedience that the enemy have cast into your life. The devil has made you to be conformed to the things of this world. But I pray the Lord will knock them out of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. In Matthew chapter 25, let's read Matthew 25, verse 41 to 46. Then shall he say also unto them, on the left hand, depart from me, ye cast into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his agents. For I was an hungry, hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungry, and hungry, and tested, or tested, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee, then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, in, in as much as ye did, did it not, to one of the least of this, ye did it not to me. And this shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. Praise God bless you. Hallelujah. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. You need to have this in as much that you do it, you do it. Those fellow, you do it to me. Friend. You check your life. What are you doing? Today, Christians are not showing wickedness to their fellow. 
there is no godliness anymore there is no sincerity anymore mark the word in verse uh, 31 he said depart from me he calls into everywhere everlasting fire but there are people that are out there preaching to you telling you there is no fire there is no hell there are people there they are your friend every day by day you believe on them more than what we are teaching today but god is telling you friend i tell you as you are denying me living in error i'm going to also deny you anytime let me remind you you women you know summer is coming now where you will wear pants and begin to wear you be like all say how will i call it you tell yourself beauty you don't know that you are built you'll be like all those monkey that are being roasted in fire <laughs> you don't know that you tell yourself now nah, hate will not kill you but that heat will go and torment you in hell i tell you the truth <laughs> i tell you the truth that is the truth you know here i don't uh, i tell you wrong I'm telling because I love you so much. I am the person that I'm positioned to warn you. Are you hearing me? Because I am sent to do this work. If I don't warn you, if you die, your blood will be upon my head. God forbid for your blood to be upon my head. Why can't I die and I drop this Bible for your blood to be on my head? Friend, we need to what? To know that God have a standard, I have a pattern that we cannot jeopardize with. And anybody that jeopardize with the pattern, it could have been better when your mom was carrying that person. It could have better that person could have, that woman could have miscarried so that that child would just die that moment and go to heaven. Mm -hmm. I pray that Jesus Christ will help us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. In the book of um, Second Timothy, Second Timothy, Second Timothy chapter 8 sorry chapter 1 second timothy chapter 1 verse 8 be not that therefore ashamed of the testimony of our lord nor of me his prisoner but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of god yes god bless you do you see that it said be not thou wherefore ashamed of the testimony of our lord but many of you are ashamed of the testimony of the lord many of you are ashamed to share this message of eternal life if i begin to ask you how are you sharing the message every day by day because you are ashamed to tell people you are a member of jesus family how do you yeah, I'm sharing it every day. Yes, I'm not. A, I I know God knows you. He's not. I don't even want to know the people that are sharing. But I'm seeing the people. But heaven is hearing record of those that are what promoting him. There are people here. A Y show. That is where. They, that is what they are promoting. Those pastors that are speaking jargon that are telling people right now, come and eat grass. Those are the people they are, they are sharing. They don't share the message on, on social media. You see, every day by the setter is pumping messages to you, and you are watching them, you are watching them. But how are you now feeling those people WhatsApp? People that are my, my WhatsApp is not working anymore now. People are sending messages to you to destroy your hope. But how are you sending message of eternal life to them, telling them that right now they are on their way to hell? How are you doing it on YouTube? How many times do you go there to go and share this message for people out there to come to Jesus? Friend, there is, is something you need to know that Jesus Christ has mandated that for will to rob the whole world, to bring back again Jacob. Who are Jacob? Jacob are those that are astray. Jacob are those people, those, those Christians that are practicing religions, that their name are not in the book of life. But Jesus is saying, go up there and bring my Jacob back to me. Let's read in that uh, first Timothy, uh, second Timothy chapter one. We read now verse 12 and 16. 12 and 16. For the wish cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed mm. and am pursued, pursued that, that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Yes. Hold fast 
No, go to, the, go to 16. Okay. The Lord give mercy unto the house of one, one self, selfless, I don't know, one selfless, for the oft refreshed me and was not ashamed of my shame. Yes, he was, he was not ashamed to accept him. Friend, mark that word. For, for the wish cause I also suffer those things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know who I have believed. I am not, I am not persuaded that is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Friend, what about you? What about you? How do you live your life? Because of the time, let's, uh, this, the other sister that was about to read, read me in the book of uh, Romans chapter one, verse 16. Friend, what about you? The time has come for ignorance to be kicking out, to be taken away from our life. The time has come for you and I to go out there. If you and I begin to work, knock away this shame, knock away this thing that are this ignorant that be, you know, by now we should be robbing the world. Is it because we don't have the truth? Is it because we don't have the message? We have the message of internal life. I told you that if you want us to be taking the message two times in the day, I will not tell you there is no message to preach. I will not tell you now we need to listen to the message again. No, there are millions of messages we have not yet listened to. Are you there? For, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. Yes, God bless you, but many of you are ashamed, say, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Friend, if the time that this gospel was given to me, I should be the one that should be ashamed, Lord. I, you, know my, you know my capacity that I didn't go to school like that. How can I go and preach? Friend, if you mock me for my English, glory be to God. But in heaven, Christ does not mock me. Friend, if you mock me, I preach the gospel. Glory be to God that I am mocked because Christ, I preach Christ. Christ was mocked. If Christ was mocked, what about me? Friend, many of you today, we are combating the ground. But Jesus is saying, my children, I have sent you for to go and what? Do the work of God. There is a name for us to allow shame to get out of our lives. Because if you did not kick it away now, if you are ashamed right now, you deny him in your working place. How did you, some, many of you, you deny Christ there. You deny Christ in where you are working. Your character, your, how your behavior, everything, your dressing, you deny Christ. Friend, if your character is not representing Jesus, your character is representing Satan. This is the truth. Which character are you presenting to the people? Are you presenting godliness? Are you presenting sincerity? Are you presenting honest? Are you presenting those quality character of Jesus? I want you to bow down your head and look into your life. Remember the message? If ye be ashamed of me and my word, friend, on that day, I will be ashamed of you. Husband and wife, are you allowing your husband, your home to glorify God? What about you, single brother, single sister? Mm. I want you to bow down your head. Talk to God this morning. How do you have, if I ask in January to this time, how many of you have carried phone, brothers and sisters, come and hear the word of God. Come and be in the place of truth because those people that you say you lost so much, you know that they are in a place of where they are dancing kokuma. A place where there is no truth. But do you want to watch them to say, these are my friends, you want to watch them to go to hell? Or the food you are eating of eternal life, you don't want them to hear to eat it. You want to be a selfish person for them not to hear the truth? Friend, 
there is a need. If I begin to ask one by one, this, since this year, this is the month of April, what, how many souls have you bring to God? For them to come and hear you are in program, you are seeing that they are hearing the message every day by day. They cannot change themselves. It is the message that will change them. But if they are not hearing the right message, they are worse than the people that carry HIV. Friend, bow down your head this morning and talk to God. That Jesus, today I am repenting for my sin. Friend, it's sinful to kick against Jesus. It's a wicked thing to neglect his word. His word, I tell you, is going to be so dangerous. If you did not occupy, say occupy until I come. I say talk to God this morning. The message is over. If he be ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you on that day. If you receive right now, you don't want to give it out to other people. What are you doing? Don't have those gifts you said now. Lord, you know my capacity. I don't need to do, do it. I carry it. On that day, I will bring it back to heaven. Do you think that those gifts you have, did they, did heaven need it? No, it is on this earth. You need to manifest them, not heaven. Bow down your head and talk to God. You're not hearing people praying, talk to God. Yes, God, church of Jesus. Do not count away ignorance out of your life. But if you be ashamed of me, I will be ashamed. If you be ashamed as a woman to dress, to dress decent, to dress now, you say you are ashamed not to wear, not to wear hair. If you want to wear trousers, I tell you, Jesus, I refuse to be wasted. Oh God, God of Israel, unto me. Help Lord, me to follow you. Right, Father, I want to thank you this morning. Oh my God, that give you glory. I want to bless you, Father, for give you how honor you because there is no one. Control you to understand that if we deny you on this earth, you will deny us on that day. I refuse to deny you. If we, my father, be ashamed to tell people that Jesus Christ, the Lord, if you will be ashamed, oh Lord, my father, on that day, oh, we have had it, Lord. Of course, that this message, oh Lord, will not judge us. Of course, my father, last on today, oh Lord, my father. Lord, we continue this journey of making people to know that we are ambassadors, Lord. Father, help us, O Lord, my Father, in glory, that at the end, we will not, Lord, be cast away. Thank you, Father, for how you open our eyes. Bless the feet of holy the Lord. Receive on the glory, receive on the honor, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Almighty and everlasting Father, mm. your word has come to us. Lord, we have heard the word. Amen. Daddy, I pray that this word will not stand against us. Amen. You have made us to understand the area when we have been kicking against you. Mm. Father, we are sorry. Lord, all these are the result of ignorance. But I thank you because you have not cut away ignorance away this morning. Yeah. Lord, I lift up my hand as your children obey you. Let the blessing of obedience go with them. Yeah. Let the yeah. blessing of Abraham abide with them. Thank you. Let your joy go with them. Amen. Amen. Let your happiness be with them. Amen. Let your love and your riches, O oh Lord, go with them, Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. That it, I pray that whatever Satan has sowed into their heart, let those things be knocked out now. Amen. Lord, you say we shall know the truth, and the truth will set us free. Amen. Let truth set them free from poverty. Let truth set them free from sicknesses. Amen. Let truth set them free from barrenness. Let Amen. truth set them free from loneliness. Let truth set them free from my Father in glory. All the area the enemy have changed them. Lord, Amen. let us be total freedom this morning. Oh, as they go, my father, may their life never remain the same. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Lord, those Amen. are great as what I saw today. Before this time next week, Lord, Lord, if they obey, Lord, they will testify that since that day I hear the word, that Amen. Lord, I obey. Hey, the Lord 
do a wonderful thing for my life. Amen. Thank you because you are able to do it, Lord. So in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hello, brothers and sisters. We have come to the end of today's program. I want to bring to your notice that uh, next week on Thursday, on the 30th of April, we are kicking off our fasting and prayer. This uh, fasting and prayer is going to be four days, not three days. Thursday to Sunday. It's going to be so wonderful. It's going to be a week of what? A week of transformation. We are going to cross from April to the, to the, to the next month. That's how we are going to start this fasting and prayer. Invite your brothers, your sisters, all over the world. Tell them to be yourself out of the trouble that will come a time to come. I tell you the truth. The Lord of heaven is with us. Mm -hmm. And I'm not afraid of any trouble that is coming. The trouble will not hear you. Because mm -hmm. he said a thousand will fall by your right side. 10,000 by your left, it will not come near your dwelling. That is the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Question and answer today, 5.30 p.m. Please, let all of us to be coming to that question and answer. It will help you. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. And after that, we have our night regime by 12 midnight. Let us endeavor to come there. If there are some questions you cannot answer in public, please, you can call me in private. I will answer you at any time. There are some questions you don't need to answer in public. And I hope you are understanding me. Yes, there are some questions you should not bring to us in public. Yeah. Call for private so that your question we can tend to them and God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.